Hello everyone, photographer Andre Designs here with a new retouch video. And finally, I have a male model retouch video. So let's get right into it. But before we do that, let's go down to the file info. So I was using a Sony a7 III for this photo shoot, Tamron 28 to 75 millimeter lens. For the focal length, it was at 42 millimeter. And uh, the exposure is one over 125 per second, f8, because you want the entire image to be in focus fully um, sharp image uh, ISO 100 and yeah all right so let's get right to the editing process so first thing I'm gonna do is to remove the blemishes from the model skin so uh, I'm just gonna create a new layer and then I'm gonna come over here to the patch tool uh, the patch tool is my favorite tool for removing blemishes and stuff like that because I mean to me it's faster I mean you can use any tool that works for you but I I like the the patch tool so all I'm doing right now is to remove the blemishes from his skin. And to be honest, it's it's no different from editing a, f uh, um, a female model, to be honest with you. It's just the same process. Remove the blemishes from the skin and uh, do your frequency separation. So all I'm doing is making selections come down to the chest maybe we could move this so I'm just going right across so I don't miss anything right across and down all right all right there's nothing else I think for the top portion so let's move this as well this 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 so this is the most important part to be honest with you removing the blemishes from the skin because that's where the retouch process actually starts and if you don't remove the blemishes from the skin, I mean, it makes no sense you retouch the image. So I think I'm done. I'm good with that. So the next step now is to do frequency separation. And you can find the frequency separation action by using the link in the description. For the um, radius, it's going to be 6.4. And I'm going to go down to the low layer here. Going to come over here to the mixer brush. Normally, the mixer brush is nested on the brush. If you hold it down, you'll see the mixer brush there. I took mine out. I'm going to put this at 2%. And if you're making any adjustments or any, if you're using the mixer brush and you notice that nothing is happening at 2%, you can move it up to 10. All right. All right. So what I'm going to do now is to start to apply the mixer brush on his face. So I'm going to start right here. So all I'm doing is brushing. And the mixer brush basically flattens the skin and it brings everything together while it's flattening the skin so all right so for male models you do not want to do too much to be honest because you don't want the face to look too smooth all i'm doing is just brushing If you notice that he had some bugs under the eye and by applying the mixer brush it will remove the bugs or flatten the lines that creates the bug all right so let's look at the before and after for that so far so before after all right so i'm gonna come down to the model's neck and do the same thing He's also a upcoming artist. I'm gonna put his um, his YouTube channel in the link, so you in the description, so you guys can check his music out. All right, so that's all I'm doing, just flattening the skin, bring everything together. All right. Go 
go over to the arm perfect so I think I am done with that don't think there's anything else I need to do so let's look at the before and after for everything so that's the before and that's the after so the next step now I would clean the eyes I don't really think I need to clean the eyes to be honest but because I don't want it to look too fake <laughs> so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna clean the eyes I'm gonna leave it as is but I'm gonna go to the high layer I'm gonna go back to the um, patch tool by pressing J on the keyboard and I'm gonna try to remove some more of these blemishes and some of these loose here from his face All right. just remove as much as you can and ensure that the face isn't too smooth you can if you if you if I um, zoom in you can still see texture in his face so yeah that's what you want it's good still remove this one perfect all right so i guess that is it for the dodge and burning so now i'm going to do some well not dodge and burning um what do you call it frequent separation so i'm gonna go down to the well i'm gonna do the burning now i'm just gonna define his muscles and stuff like that so i'm gonna use the burn option dodge and burn so i'm gonna go to the um brush uh my brush is at one percent for the flow opacity at 100 percent and keep it that way so all the areas that are dark we're just going to highlight it well not highlight it we're going to like you know put more dark there so what will happen is that we're shaping the muscles now so it's more defined so like there like there All right, that's it. I don't think I need to do any um, dodging. I think that should be it. So what I'm gonna do next now is to, if you notice some part of the skin is, is not, some part of the skin is bright and some part of the skin is, is light. We wanna try to match it as best as possible. So I'm still on the brush at 1%, but I'm going to make a selection for a darker part of his body and um, you know kind of get rid of some of these highlights so I'm gonna hold on an alt and I'm gonna take a sample from uh, right here and then I'm just gonna brush the areas in because I want it to match the entire body Let's look at it before and after before after And if it's taking too long, you can always uh, adjust the flow percentage. Yeah, but well, I think I'm okay with this. This should be good. All right, so now I'm going to go to Camera Raw. So I'm going to create a new layer first by doing Control Shift Alt E, Control J to duplicate the new layer, and then I'm just going to go to Camera Raw. And I'm just gonna make some adjustments. I'm gonna come here to the curves. Pull down the curves a little bit. Let me see. I'm gonna do a before and after real quick. All right, so I'm not gonna do anything to the curves, but I'm going to go down to the collaboration. Oh, this is Photoshop 2020. So the camera is gonna look different from what you're using. Alright, so I'm just gonna play with the primary color. Let's bring in some like that. I'm gonna go up to the basic section and I'm going to adjust the dehaze like that. And then I'm gonna bring out some of the shadows like that and contrast. 
maybe like that you don't want to put too much let me just play with the temperature a little bit just a little bit um what else what else can i do mm. i think that's about it let me try something with the curve and the blue let's see okay no let me go to the hue where is it let me try this okay what I'm basically trying to do there's a lot because I, I make some adjustments to the blue in in the calibration section the do rug is now not showing blue and or well white anymore so that's what I'm trying to adjust maybe I could go to the hue and play with the blue okay this doesn't work oh I think I like this the purple right that, that works so I like this white so now I'm gonna go back up to the highlights bring down the highlights a little bit all right that's good so as you can see before and after it's gonna press ok then I'm gonna add a uh, blue in shadows because that's what I that's my signature look <laughs> yeah so that's the finished image let me just do a before and after real quick so you guys can see the before and after windows arrange vertical up so this is the well hold on good so well no i think i should use this for the before <laughs> yes so that's the before and that's the after perfect so if you guys learn anything from this video just give me a thumbs up and um i hope the persons who actually wanted to see a retouch video of a male model actually see this video all right guys so thank you so much for watching and stay tuned for another video bye bye